internet. My name is Sammy Fight Master and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I am pet sitting this weekend which is why I have a change of scenery for this video. Not like anybody cares but I thought I'd throw that out there. So today I'm going to be reviewing season one of the new Hulu original show Love Victor. Now if you don't know Love Victor is the spin-off show from the movie Love Simon that came out back in 2018. I was very excited for the show. Like I have been anticipating it since I first heard the news break that they were making this show. I was so ready for it and guess what? I loved it. It was such a cute and heartwarming show. It is different than Love, Simon, but it was a very good take on a coming out story and one that I really related with. So this show follows Victor who is a new student at Creekwood High which is the same high school that was in Love, Simon. Um, it's based in Atlanta. His family had just moved from Texas and he's got a lot going on. So Victor is kind of struggling with this new town. It's very different from where he grew up. And lately his family has been having some issues. His parents have been having some issues and that's really weighing on him. But the big thing that he's struggling with and it's the reason that we have this show is that Victor is really, really struggling with his sexual orientation. He grew up in a family very different than Simon from Love, Simon. Victor's parents are very conservative, very religious, and that really weighs on him for these new feelings that he's having towards the same sex. So throughout this series, you see Victor really struggle with that. So... He comes to the school, he's struggling with his sexuality, but because of his family and the way that he grew up, he is trying very hard not to be different or to be gay specifically. So on Victor's first day of school, he hears the story of Simon. Basically they recap Love, Simon very quickly. And he's kind of shocked by the great reception that Simon received for coming out. Like that wouldn't happen where Victor's from. So he's like, oh wow. So everybody's actually cool with him being gay. And that's a new idea for him. After he hears Simon's story, he DMs Simon on social media and really is talking about like how upset he is with Simon for making being gay and coming out look so easy because not everybody had it as good as Simon. Not everybody's parents are as cool as Simon. You know, Victor's a little upset that he's hearing this awesome gay coming out story about Simon and he doesn't think that he gets to experience that. So what ends up happening is that him and Simon develop kind of a DMing relationship throughout the show where Victor kind of vents to Simon about his struggles going on not only with his sexuality, but with things going on with his family and friends. And Simon gives Victor advice. He's kind of like Victor's gay guru, even if Victor doesn't always want it. And kind of the vibe that Victor gives off in their DMs to each other is like, he's trying to come across as this very macho, like, I'm not like you, Simon kind of guy. Like he's trying to seem like him and Simon are not the same person, which they're not. Nobody's the same as somebody else. But it seems like most of the show, he's really, the only person he's trying to convince is himself that he is not different than other people. But yeah, Simon tries his best to help Victor through everything. And Victor really leans on Simon and they develop a pretty strong friendship without ever have meeting each other. So this whole show really deals with following Victor's journey to self-discovery and to who he really is and all the little bumps in the road that he faces on the way there. And there is a lot. Like I mentioned, he's having some problems at home with his family. They just have a lot of issues going on that they've kind of brought from Texas and everything is getting discovered around the same time that Victor's trying to figure out his own life. And he makes some new friends at school and he's just trying to fit in and he does not want to stand out whatsoever and you can tell that. Like I said earlier, Victor and Simon have very different backgrounds so this is not like Love, Simon at all. It's just not. 
Simon's parents were much more liberal and very okay with Simon being gay. But Victor's parents are a lot more conservative, very religious, and his dad had made several comments throughout the season that indicate that he wouldn't necessarily be happy if Victor was gay. So Victor has been struggling with that and that's a real big weight on him. Another difference between Simon and Victor is that in Love, Simon, Simon already knew at the beginning of the movie that he was gay. He already knew that. He just didn't know how to come out and was struggling with that. But Victor is still genuinely questioning his sexuality. Like, he doesn't know if he's gay, bi, straight, whatever. He doesn't know. So, they take different journeys just in that aspect. I don't want to spoil the ending for you. Really, what I've said is all that you need to know going into the show. And I definitely suggest watching it. I really loved this show. It was very cute, very heartwarming. There were several moments, definitely towards the end of the season, that I just cried because I connected so much with Victor's story and I couldn't help but cry about it. <laughs> so I did. I'm going to rate this show five stars because it was just awesome. It is such a good story, definitely for Pride Month, but also it seemed like a very realistic coming out story and something that I connected more with. I connected more with Victor than I did with Simon. This show was full of emotions. It wasn't like overly dramatic. It just wasn't, which was nice because sometimes I watch way too many shows that have way too much drama in them and this was not one of those shows. Victor's best friend Felix provides a lot of good comic relief throughout the show and I loved him. He's very adorable and I loved it. Also, the story itself just seemed to naturally progress, which was really nice about the show. Also, they did have a couple of characters that came over and made appearances in Love, Victor that were in Love, Simon. So that was fun to see. If you have seen the movie and you're a fan of the movie, you get to see a few familiar faces in this show. Also, guest starring in this show, we have Sophia Bush, who I love. She's in a lot of things, but she guest stars for a few episodes in the show and was great in it. And then one of my favorite comedians, Ali Wong, who is a very, very funny comedian. She also guest starred for a couple of episodes and she was so good. They were really nice to see and I wasn't expecting seeing them in the show. I highly recommend watching the show. It's just a really good story to hear and it's a really heartwarming show. It's very cute can be funny, can be a little sad at times, but it's a very good show and I definitely think you should watch it. Like I said, the show is on Hulu, so go check it out there. 10 episodes, all the episodes are around 30 minutes. Does not take you long to watch at all. And if you've seen the show, let me know what your thoughts are on it down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new around here, welcome to my channel and I would really love and appreciate it if you would subscribe at the end of this video. And then after you've subscribed, hit that bell off to the side to be notified when I post new videos every week. That is all that I've got for you today. So I guess I'll see you next time. Bye.